Locating a leak can be a process of elimination. One easy way to determine if you have a leak is by learning how to read your water meter. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to access and read a typical residential water meter. First, you will need to find your home's water meter box. It is most often located either in or directly behind the sidewalk. Usually, the cover is made of concrete and marked water. Using a screwdriver or a wrench as a handle, lift and remove the cover. Be sure to lift carefully, always protecting your back. Some lids have a black plastic transmitter cap wired to them. Remove these by lifting the end opposite the transmitter and sliding it sideways half the length of the lid. Then flip the lid over. Be careful not to break any of the wiring. Watch for insects as you remove the insulation blanket. Clear spiderwebs and other debris from the meter box. Lift the cover from the meter dial. If necessary, clean the meter face so you can read it more easily. Make sure the meter number matches the number shown on your billing statement. On the census meters, the number is displayed in two locations. If the star-shaped flow indicator is spinning, you know water is running in your house or yard. On the census meter, any movement of the last two numbers on the digital readout indicates that water is flowing somewhere in your system. The next step is to make sure all water valves are turned off. Be sure to check the following items. Sinks, laundry room hookups, showers, sprinkler systems, and any place else water may be running. Now, return to your meter box to see if the flow indicator is still spinning. If everything is turned off and the flow indicator is still turning, you've got a leak someplace. This is when the real detective work begins. The most frequent cause of household water waste is a bad toilet flapper. Check yours. Swamp coolers with poorly adjusted float valves are also a common source of leaks. Be sure to check your sprinkler system. Examine every pipe, valve, and connection in your home until you find the leak. Once a leak is located, Either fix it yourself, or if the repair is beyond your technical ability, call a professional plumber for assistance. If you are unable to find the leak, it may be located in your main yard line. Addressing this problem will most certainly require a plumber's assistance. You can verify that a leak has been fixed by checking your meter's flow indicator. If it is not moving, no water is flowing in your system and you no longer have a leak. When you are finished, be sure to properly reinstall the insulation blanket and replace the meter box cover. That's all there is to it!